Welcome back. I am still teaching a public speaking course. And in today's class, we were talking about how to channel your anxiety or channel your nerves uh, to a place where it would be relatively discreet. Because as public speakers, as experts in our field, we don't want to come off as nervous. We want to come off as sure in our convictions. We want to come off as professionals. We want to come off as the experts that we are. So when we convey angst, when we convey nervousness, when we convey uncertainty, it doesn't look good in the eyes of the audience and therefore it damages our credibility. Regardless of how valid that credibility is, the perceived credibility that the audience has for the speaker is damaged if the speaker is showing signs of nervousness or uncertainty. But at the same time, oftentimes nerves promote physiological responses. You'll see people playing with their fingers or playing with their index card. Sometimes they'll lean to one side or lean to the other. They'll, they'll fold their arms. They'll, again, twiddle their thumbs. Maybe they blink a little bit more. There are a whole bunch of tells that imply that the speaker or the person who you are interacting with is nervous. And like I said, that's very damaging to credibility and we don't want our credibility to be damaged. So how do we fix this? If it's a physiological response, it's going to be particularly hard to consciously rid your body of that response. But you can redirect that energy. You can rechannel that energy to another area in your body where you can focus on that as your output for this nerves, for these nerves or for these, this angst. Uh, so my example that I shared with my class today was tapping your toes in a rhythmic pattern, starting with the pinky toe leading to the big toe or starting with the big toe leading back to the pinky toe. If you're doing this subtly, if you're doing this with one foot, concealed by your shoe, the audience is likely not going to see this. But you need to consciously think about redirecting that nervous energy to your toes because it is a hidden way of channeling that anxiety and nerves to a place where the audience is not going to see that. And therefore, they're not going to recognize the fact that you're nervous or upset or anxious or what have you. And therefore, your credibility will remain intact. So that is just one tip that I use and that I pass along to my students to make sure that we are coming off as sure in our convictions, to make sure that we are not coming off as phony or nervous or not credible. And that's that. Okay, till next time.